All right, guys, this is the third video of the roof plan series. So we are in Architecture 2 and we're working on roof plans. And I have yet another uh, bird's eye view roof plan in the middle with four elevations around the sides. And I'm going to walk through what you would do if you have two large areas to cover, like here on the left and right, and then like a middle section. So you almost like flip your thinking. Instead of uh, making a large rectangle in uh, this general area, I'll just sketch it on real quick. Instead of doing this, we're going to make two large areas um, right here and right here. And then the middle area will connect those two, and then we'll draw it out and show you how that's done. So uh, nothing new here. You're still going to cut this in half. Going uh, hot dog ways, you're going to go lengthwise. That's going to represent your peak. And then uh, I'll draw a little symbol down here that's very helpful. So if you have a roof that's perpendicular to an elevation, you're going to see a peak or a triangle. If you have a roof peak that's parallel to an elevation, you're, you're going to see a, a rectangle or you know rectangular elements. It may have some angles still in it. So uh, from the front, let's just quickly sketch on a roof peak here, a roof peak here. Try to make them very similar. They're going to be identical on the back. Um, I made them the same size as much as possible. And then this peak here, I'm going to try to make that the same general height, maybe a hair shorter, but um, but they should be. It's a, it's the blue section. The blue section should be the same height throughout. And um, let me undo that one. Holding down shift, I recently learned, and paint will help you make things straight. So that's pretty pretty basic so far, um, but we split it in half. Now let's do red so it stands out. I'm going to cut this in half. Now if I just went from like here to here, that's going to represent the roof connecting from here to here. So it's going to have no height. See how this this uh, right edge of this roof is down at the, the ceiling level, or it's the lowest area it's going to be for the roof. Same here on the opposite side. So what we need to do is we go back on a 45 degree angle. I'm going to hold shift, and uh, I'm going to get a little bit better grab on that corner. So I'm going to hold shift to go back at a 45. Go back at a 45, and these should meet at some point. I'm going to go back on a 45 here and a 45 degree angle there. This is the spot where that section, that's how, you know, that's the center divided in half. That is where or how far up the red section runs up the blue section. So how far up the pitch. So if I were to bring a red line straight down. And when it hits this section on the blue, and then I bring it over, if I'm good, that should go up and touch there. Pretty darn close. <coughs> and this red line was just drawn on to represent uh, bringing it down. And then I'll put this back on. And then you would not see that from the left and right side, but you would see it from the back. <coughs> You could follow those same steps. I'm not going to actually draw the line. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and bring it back there. So if you have two, if you have two major sections that are in opposite areas, they may not be as simple as squares. They may be one might be a, a rectangle, um, one might be a square. And in fact, the the challenge exercise, the third one, you are going to have to utilize this skill. And I'm going to create uh, a worksheet for you or a, a setup where they're not identical and then they'll have additional pieces kind of sticking off them. Uh, but that's how you apply that principle.